Crack cocaine, synthetic marijuana. Law enforcement officers in Hardin County say more people are using the drugs in cities and in the countryside. Today, local, state, and federal officers went after dozens of suspects following an undercover investigation that lasted more than half a year. KFT reporter Leslie Rangel rode with the officers. She's in the studio tonight to explain what she saw. Leslie? Officers spanned out across Hardin County. They arrested drug suspects in Lumberton, Silsby, Sowers Lake, Sour Lake and Coons. They say it's part of a vicious cycle. Many criminals can't beat their addiction and go back to the same illegal habits as soon as they get out of jail. Law enforcement officers are doing what they can to stop the cycle. Officers arrested a man on a drug warrant at this home on Cancer Street in Silsby. At another home on East 4th Street in Coons, they found crack cocaine and a bag of Kush, illegal synthetic marijuana. The homeowner is charged with delivery and possession of a controlled substance. This arrest and the others come at the end of an eight-month investigation. We're using undercover people, as I explained to you before. We don't make the buy that day and then arrest them the next day. It, we, it takes time because of the investigation it leads to to other people as well as we don't want to expose the people that are doing the undercover buys. The sheriff says many dealers cross county lines, making it critical for law enforcement agencies to share information. Did we get them all today? No, certainly not. There will be more take their place. Uh, some of these will get out and start doing it again. So we're just, we've just got to keep doing what we can. Uh, drugs, bottom line, is supply and demand. So far, investigators have arrested more than a dozen people. They brought all of them to the Hardin County Jail. Reporting live in studio, Leslie Rangel, KFTM 6 News.